I'm Parley. Hi, I'm Tyler. Hi, I'm Miss Gabe. Thank you for coming and joining us today for Ballet One Week, week Three. Um, we're gonna start on the floor with our stretches like usual. And I'm very proud of you for checking in and dancing with us today. All right, let's, let's do it, guys. Face towards the camera. Sit in your pike position like we usually do and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. Keep going, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Now you're three quarters, so point everything but your toes and point down. Toes up and up. Three quarter, point, three quarter, and up one at a time. Three quarter, point, three quarter, up, other side, three quarter, point, three 
stretching at home so we're gonna go up against the wall here and do a hip flexor stretch up against the wall so find a wall and it's you might need to put your leg up against something if you don't have someone to help you if you have someone to help you they can hold on to turn around and go into your hip flexor stretch they can hold on to your foot so you're gonna put your knee up against the wall all the way up against the wall. And then you can either put yourself right by a couch or something so it supports you. Now your other leg is gonna come up and put your weight on your foot. Right here, good. Okay, so if you have someone to help you, they can hold your foot and then gently pressing here, right? Or you can just put yourself up against the couch. And then you're squeezing forward. So imagine you've got a grape right here under your knee. You're trying to press and Push that break. So you're squeezing forward, getting this hip flexor stretched out, your so abs, all that stuff. And you squeeze forward and breathe in, breathe out, squeeze forward. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna slide into our splits from here. It's not gonna feel cozy. Ready? I know, sorry. One. Are you in your split? Two. <laughs> Go further. Three and four. Okay, shake it up. Now we're gonna do the other leg. Move over that way just a little bit. Breath in. 
questions because we always do. Show me first position feet, first position arms, go. Both of you. <laughs> Back up a little bit, Harley. And elbows are nice and lifted, squeezing your knees. Second position feet, semi position arms, go. Bellies are lifted. Third position feet, low third arms. You guys should know these on your own by now at this level, but we are, we're just going over them. Whoa. <laughs> squeezing your knees straight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And high third. Fourth position, arms and feet. Elbows nice and lifted. Fourth position, arms and feet. Make sure that you're, this isn't too big. Yeah, you want to make sure you're across your heel to toe, your toe to heel. Where is your other arm? Okay. Right in front of your belly button. Same belly, same to that. Straighten your back knee. Stand up tall. Fifth position, arms and feet. Make sure it's crossed all the way to your toe, otherwise that's third position, right? So there you go, stand up tall in your body. Go ahead, squeeze your knees real, real straight. Holding your arms nice and strong. Go to sixth position. Like a soldier, very nice. Okay, well, uh, why don't you guys grab a chair, grab your couch. Let's get to some bar work. See you in a minute. So for your plies today, kind of adding on what we did last week a little bit, we're gonna go facing your bar, hold your bellies nice and tight, working that first position, squeezing the tush, yes? Plie, we go roll over, remember staying off the pinky toes, on the big toes, relevé up and lower down. Now you're gonna reverse it, you're gonna go up and over, heels down and straight. Mm -hmm. So I'll try it. Let's do that one more time. Plie, roll over, we go up, we lower down. Then we go up, we roll over, heel down, and straight. Make sense? Then one bronche. One, two, three, four. Point your foot on you. Same thing in second position. Plie, roll, up, down, relevé up, over, heels, Straight, wrong plie, one, two, open your knees. So, working on really keeping that spine nice and straight. So see how it's hard for you to turn out more, that'll help. Yeah, there you go. Now feel your knees opening past your toes. Hold your back up real tall, there you go. And three, four, your knees are caving forward a little bit, yeah? Then we'll point your foot, tendu, wrong jump, fourth position, same thing, tendu, same thing in fifth, at the very end, pressing up to susu, holding your balance for eight counts. Okay, here we go. Look at your arms doing. <laughs> Long arms. All right, stand up tall, bellies in, first position. I'm gonna have them do it while I correct, so pay attention to what I'm correcting on them as if I'm correcting you. Lower down. Relevate up. Oh. 
Now we go to the back. One, two, three, four. Now when I go to this side again, the first one's going to close in the back. Then it's going to close in the front. Back and then front. So I end up right where I started. Yes? Second. So the first one, it stays where you are. And then the second 34 switch. Does that make sense? Kind of? Yeah. Sort of? Yeah? So if I'm already in the front and I'm going to the side, the first one's going to close in the front where I am. And the next one will switch. Make sense? Okay. So I really need your knees to be straight and I really need you to rotate from your hips. So make sure that you're squeezing everything and those heels are forward. I'm going to put slower music on today so that you can really concentrate on these things. Sounds good? Ready? Stand up top. Fifth position. You guys at home. Right foot in the front. Is it four on quoi? It's four on quoi. Four on quoi. Crossing it over. Straight knees. Squeeze everything you got. So Tyler's going to do this in third position because he's working on keeping his knees straight and it's a little hard for him right now from fifth. So he's going to do it to third just so he can, he can start to get this concept. Okay? Really, really straight legs. Here we go. You've got this.
just did it, where we went to the front, to the side, to the back, and the side again. Cross. In the shape of a cross. Very good. What does tondu mean? You know it? To stretch. Yeah? Okay, now we are going to do our degages today. This is your degage. What does degage mean? Starts with a D, you know it? Yeah. What is it? To disengage. to disengage, right? To promote. So it's just like your tondu, but you're lifting off the floor. We're going to work on a lot of releves today, though. So we're going to brush out two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna go up, 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 up. Eight of them. Six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna do eight to this side. And eight releves two times through. So you're gonna do eight, 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 eight. Thirty-two releves. Yes? Which is good for those little calfies. Okay? So, brushing the floor with your diamonds forward, your heels forward, which means you have to hold your belly tight. Let's see your, your leg to the side. Go. Move over just a little bit. Okay. Go back again. Degage comes off the floor. So, brush off the floor. Squeeze everything you got. Belly in. Squeeze. And then keeping this heel forward as you brush out. Right? Do the knees bend on the way in? No. No, your knees don't have to bend at all in this combination. Okay? Ready? First position. Here we go. Belly all the way up to my head, 
so that it's nice and light when I come down rather than boink. When you come down, same thing when you jump, nice and light when you come down. So we're not plopping down, right? <laughs> Landing in your feet, right? Okay, last week we worked on ronde jumps. Now, if you want to go back and do those ronde jumps again, we usually don't have time in our class to do everything at the bar, plus you guys probably wouldn't want to do everything at the bar yet. We're not quite there yet. But we're going to start learning different steps at the bar, so eventually you'll be able to do an entire bar with all these different combos. We're learning frappes today. So, frappe means to strike. Okay, so it's like you're striking a match on the floor. So, we're going to start in fifth position, and we're going to tongue you to the side, and you flex your foot by your ankle. We've probably done this maybe once or twice, but very quickly in class. And then you hit the ball of your foot as if this is the match, and that's the, that's the tip of the match, and then psh, strike a match out and create the fire. Now, I'm going to fix Tyler's leg because he's going to the front, right? So make sure your knees are straight, muscles working, and your diamond's up, heels up to the sky here. Then from here, hold it there, Ty. Hold it. Hold it with your muscles. Hold it. Diamond's up. Turn your leg this way. There. From here, flex it back into your ankle. And then you're going to hit the ball of your foot. Strike it out again. Diamond's up. Rotate your leg. And flex it in. Okay, so we're going to do slowly two on quad. So now I hit the ball. Strike it to the side. Side thigh. Bring it in the front. Strike it to the side. Put it in the back. This feels kind of weird, yeah? <laughs> You're gonna push your knee all the way out to the side. And then we're gonna strike it to the back, or you can do this with us. Hit the ball of your foot and stretch it to the back. Make sure you straighten your knees, please. Straighten your knees. This one, straighten your knee. Yes, and then flex it into the back. Flex it in. I know it feels weird. Pushing your knee way out to the side. Hit the ball of your foot. Strike it to the back. Straight knees. And in the side again. Yes? We'll do this very slow. Okay? Right foot in the front. You can start with left.
in a lot of resumes already in class, so now we're just going to add on to that, getting our calf muscles really strong. So we're going to start in first position, and we're going to relevate up without your plie, your arms are in first. We go one, two, three, four. Try not to arch back while you're doing this, holding your belly strong. On the fourth one, come down to plie, four sautés. One, holding your plie at the bottom, remember? Two, hold your plie. Three, four. Now, when I releve, my legs are nice and straight. When I jump, my legs are also nice and straight. So I don't want to see those floppy legs in the air, okay? So, condu, second position. We'll do the same thing in second. With straight knees, one, two, three, four. Plie on the fourth. One, two, three, four. Okay? Point fifth. Okay? In fifth. One. This one's going to feel harder. Two, three, four. Plie on the fourth. Shantma one. Shantma two. Shantma three. Shantma four. Yeah, point your feet and use the power of your legs. No floppy business. Got it? Okay, let's try it. First position, let me find your tempo. Nice and strong legs. Switch your feet. Switch your feet. So 
your glissade means to glide. Remember, we're putting that imaginary ceiling over our head, and my leg goes straight, straight in. Remember that one? Okay, you're welcome to keep your hands on your hips if your arms are too much right now. Just keep your hands up. Yeah. Padisha. Bend, bend. Step up the cat. Make sure you point your toes. What's the next step? Do you remember? Shantma. Coupe back. We go back, side, front. So if you've been doing it every week of class, the first week we worked on Padigure. If you didn't do the first week, go back and do the first week. Yeah, so you can go over your pod break if you're confused. So, ready? One more time, and then I'm going to do music and crack the floor. Here we go. Tell me, guys, what each step is. What's this first step? Just tell me. Glissa. Glissa. Ready? Show me. Glissa. Point, point. Mm -hmm. Then what? What's the next one called? Pa. Pa de sha. Pa de sha. Pasha. What's next? Harley knows it. Go ahead, Harley. Change ma. Change ma. Then coupe back. Pa de bure. Okay? I'm going to show you once facing you so that you can see me exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to leave side. Pasha. Change ma. Coupe back. Pa de bure. Okay? Let's try it going across the floor. Here we go. So when we start this, you have to start with your back foot. Good. So then we've got our left foot in front here. If you're mirroring us, it'll be like your right foot. Ready? Ready guys? Good. Plie down. Glissa. Don't switch feet on that glissa. Good, you guys. Padasha. Don't switch feet on your padasha. Good. Shanjma. Now coupe back. Back. Side. Front. Excellent. Okay. Let's try this going across the floor. This is tricky. Starting with the back foot, yes? back, back, side, front. Good. Awesome, you guys. Okay. Good work. I know, it's tricky, isn't it? Yes. Now, just so we can move a little bit, show me those chasses changing feet across the floor. Your chasses changing feet. What I really want you working on is pointing your foot in between. Okay? You cannot farm your chasse anymore. Okay? So you're pointing and sliding that toe. Step together, step. Now take your time and point that other foot. Take your time, step together, step. Point your foot, step together, step. All the way across the floor, okay? You guys can even take it in a circle so you can get more in. So come on up here. I'll put your knees down. Carly will go first, 10 seconds. Chasse, chasse switching feet. That's better type. Just one chasse though. Point 
Put your feet in between, yes? Point. Switching feet. You got it. Point your foot. See how you're flexing that foot? Try to point your foot. Point your foot in between. Carly, point your foot in between. Point your foot in between, Ty. Point your foot. Point. Uh-huh. Now point that one on the next one. Point it. Yes. It's hard, huh? Point. Keep working. Point. Point. So now I want my boys to start working on their tours and girls, we're going to start working on preparation for a PK turn. So boys, you also can do the PK turn and girls, you also can do the tours. There's no reason you can't learn how to do these. Um, it's just typically boys do tours and um, boys also do PK turns. So they just, Girls don't usually do tours that often, but it's not to say it doesn't happen. So let's start with our tours. You're going to have one foot in the front. I'm going to come up to my susu. So I'm going to go up to susu, plie down. Now I'm going to turn towards my front toes and my back foot is going to wrap around like it's doing a shanjma. So my feet go like this, right? In the air, but I turn, yeah? So I'm trying to jump, I go su su up, plie down, now jump, tour. And I have land with the other foot in the front. So in our show, Harley is a boo, so she has to do some tours because she is a boy in the show, which happens. So girls, practice this too, yeah? It's good for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna have my other foot in the front. I'm gonna press up to su su. Other foot tight. Other foot tight. Come down. Now I'm going to jump, turn this way, and put the other foot in the front. So we're going the other way now. Right? The other way. We're going that way now. Yeah? So I'm going to jump and turn. So what's weird is one side's going to feel okay, and the other side's going to feel like, oh, I do not like that side at all. Okay? So the key to it is, is jump towards the way your front toes are pointing. So if my right foot's in the front, I'm going to turn to the right. And I'm going to land with my left foot. So what we're going to do, rather than switching back and forth, is we're going to do six of them on one side and six of them on the other side. So back up, guys. Right foot in the front to start. Face the mirror. And we'll go slow. Ready? Yes, right. Spotting. 
spotting. So when you're turning, you don't want to bring your head with you, right? You want to hold your head behind and then flip at the last minute, yeah? These are not going to be perfect at first. The goal for most of us is to land on our feet, not on the floor, right? <laughs> the more we just go straight up and down and not throwing our body all over the place, the better it will be. Ready? Here we go. for it. So I'm going to turn this camera so you can see Harley up against a mirror. You're going to go up, about a foot away from the mirror, two feet away from the mirror, yeah? Or your wall, you don't need a mirror. And you're going to take one leg to tummy front, make it really, really, really straight. Now you bend the other leg down. Now you're going to go straight up onto your toe and bring your foot to passe back. Here's exactly what your foot's going to look like for this passe back. Your heel is touching and your toes are pressed away. So you see there's a space between my toe and my calf. So it's not here, it's pressed away. Not here, but pressed away. Knee out to the side. So when I look from the front, you can see that my knee is straight out to the side and my toes are overcrossed. Yeah, and I'm going straight up onto your toe, trying to maintain this turn out here. So we're just gonna take eight of these on each leg, facing your wall. So point your foot, plie down, and push up. You can also use whatever you used for your bar. And down. Onto a straight knee. And down. Three. Make sure you're not going bent and then straight. And down. Four. Down. Five. Keep going. Six. Down. Seven. And eight. Down. Good, switching, other leg. We go. Up, find that position. Down, two, three, four. Don't be too close to whatever you're going. If you're too close, it doesn't work, yeah? Six, seven, eight. Wrapping the bottom heel forward as you go up and pressing this knee side. Heel touching, toes away. Okay, so if you feel comfortable with that, what I want you to do is just keeping your arms in first, trying to go up on your toe and come down across the floor and down. If you don't even have space to go across the floor, you can just do this in place on a super straight leg. Straight up onto your toe. Straight up onto your toe. Okay, let's try this across the floor, Harley, with music. And then the last few, she's gonna turn for you. Yeah, just go straight across from her. Turn. Turn. Ready? Other side. 
Point your foot and up. Straight knees, elbows lifted, up. She's connecting that heel, gluing it to the back of her knee while your, her knee presses out to the side. And come on back and show us how you're turning it. She's losing her bun today. Ready? And go. Pique up. And up. Control on the way down. And up. And up. There comes the hair. <laughs> hair is out. <laughs> okay. Good job, you guys. Just starting to work on those. You don't have to turn. I more want to see you just going up on that straight leg. Boys and girls do PK turns. So, boys, make sure you're doing this, too. Okay, I want to see you work on your leaps this week. Yeah, you're so dishes. So, working on nice and straight legs. Um, put something out, a mat out, and try to leap over a mat. So we're going to put our mat out. You can put up a big pile of pillows. The goal is to get as, your legs as long and straight as you can. Toes pointed and to land on your feet. Today. If you want more practice, you could always take another class. You could take beginning ballet, you could take tri ballet too, you could take contemporary, you could do stretching conditioning, would be a good one. It's those are the, stretching conditioning is a hard class. Just do what you can, but there's lots of things out there that you guys can do to get yourself stronger. We love you, we miss you. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>